Well, Growers Edge, uh, I think, has made us more money by allowing me to survey the local bids that I'm in the area that I want to sell my grain. The local elevators and the ethanol plants know that this information is is out there, so they've got to be competitive if they want to get the grain. You know, we've been able to uh, maximize our return on our farm. Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. It's August 20th, 2014. I'm Logan Burgess. To my right here is Cody Bills to help break down a negative day for the grains in Chicago. Let's take a look at the iPad here, see where the grains closed out the trade session. We had December corn off four and three quarters. Soybeans moving lower by 14 and three quarters. Chicago wheat down eight and a half cents here on the day. If you guys want to take a look at this trading platform for yourself and get it on your own iPad or Android tablet, you can visit us over at grainhedge.com, take a no obligation 14 day trial and see if it's something that would be useful to your own operation uh, as we enter harvest here in just a few short weeks. Cody, let's talk about though, a uh, real highlight for the grain market right now, Pro Farmer Crop Tour. What did we see here today as Pro Farmer got into day three? Well, I think overall we drifted lower here and I think that's a part of the major trends here for corn, soybeans, and wheat. The only one here that it really kind of been pausing for the last couple weeks is corn. But let's just take a look here. Obviously, Pro Farmer Crop Tour, the main theme this week, uh, when you look at what's coming across the news. And we're on day three. And day three takes us through Illinois. It takes us through Iowa. And we expected to start seeing a lot more tweets and a lot more social media buzz around right. positive yields or big yields. Uh, we did not really see that today. Uh, Brian, and Greedy, the leader of the eastern part of the uh, crop tour, uh, mentioned that yields were good but nothing jaw-dropping. So I think overall, uh, you know, we are seeing continued positive news. I think we're seeing a continuation of this major trend here, yep. drifting lower. Uh, but it will be interesting to see where we're at here tomorrow. Yep. Uh, take a look here. When we look at day one and day two, you see the results. Uh, Iowa and South Dakota, Pro Farmer comes out above where the USDA is currently uh, uh, in terms of bushel per, uh, bushels per acre. Day two, we also saw the USDA come out higher than where the USDA is, as well as Planalytics uh, for Indiana. But Nebraska, they're a bit lower here. Mm -hmm. They did adjust the way they uh, collected information in Nebraska. It looks like they included more irrigated land uh, than in years past. Uh, but notice that Nebraska, they're, are, they're expecting yields to be a little bit shy of where the USDA is currently. Yep. Uh, Logan, I know that uh, when we look at the grain movements here. One of the main things that drives prices, particularly major uh, exportable goods, right. uh, when there's uh, when we're competing on the global market, uh, is uh, currency exchange here. Right. And we had a pretty significant breakout. Can you uh, can you walk us through that? Yeah, well, really. In the last couple of days here, we've seen an exceptional move out of the U.S. dollar index for uh, September delivery. Here, if you take a look at the chart, this is a daily chart, and you can see that yesterday we really had a technical breakout, and we saw some very strong follow through action today. We did have some announcements from an FOMC meeting today. Uh, some market analysts were looking at that as being a contributing factor to the move higher in the dollar index, but really not a lot of guidance there in terms of central bank policy. Uh, a lot of observers are still waiting for the Jackson Hole Symposium here coming up for a little bit more direction on kind of this macro view. But uh, the, I think the bottom line here, in fa as far as grain traders are concerned, is as you mentioned, Cody, stronger dollar index means that it's going to be harder here for U.S. Uh, exports here in the new crop. Could have some people a little bit concerned here. Uh, you know, wouldn't be surprising if we saw it weigh on grains a little bit in today's action. You know, additionally, it has kind of a mechanical effect of devaluing a bushel of corn as we see the U.S. dollar uh, get a little bit stronger. So if we take a look, though, at a situation very differently, right now is down in Argentina and that was getting some attention today. You can see that across uh, Twitter, the Bolsa de Cerealis down in uh, Argentina, their primary grain exchange is looking for planted acreage uh, to decrease about 10% here year over year. Two big items here that they focused on uh, in driving that move lower was very low international prices, which obviously we're observing, but maybe more importantly is the devaluation in the currency that we've been seeing. Uh, if you take a look at this chart, you can see uh, the Argentinian peso is up substantially here year over, uh, in the last year. And it, within just the last year, it's devalued roughly 23%. So when you're talking about devaluation like that, obviously farmers have more of a tendency to hold on to stored grain. It also makes more, uh, more expensive to buy input costs here for the upcoming growing season. So that's something that seemed to be a little bit of a positive uh, impact on the international front, 
All things though considered, today just another day where we saw the grains drift lower. Absolutely. Now tonight we're going to be getting the final results from the Pro Farmer Tour for day three here. Uh, and then of course uh, tomorrow uh, they'll be wrapping up uh, the majority of the, the tour and we'll get more information on Friday. So the bottom line guys, if you're interested in, in uh, knowing more about what we've talked about today, give us a call at 877-472-4607. You can take a demo at uh, grainhedge.com and see live quotes on your mobile platform as well as your desktop. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you here Thursday. <laughs>